How's it going, boys? Today we are playing this questionable masterpiece. It is a big boy deck. Well, technically it's not. It's a Thousand Yims, Genesis, Ultimatum, I mean, and a bunch of things that hit face type of deck. Essentially, I just really, really wanted to make a Genesis Ultimatum deck, but we have made too many decks that use creatures with Genesis Ultimatum, so there we have it. So, extremely simple deck. We have four Opts, four Shocks, three Fey of Fishes, four Frantic Inventories, four Lightning Strikes, four Explores, four Gifts of Paradisio, four Storms, that's 2,000 year Storms, four Genesis Ultimatums, and a bunch of lands. 24 lands to be specific. Okay. So how does this deck work? We essentially find Genesis Ultimatum, we get out Thousand Year Storms, and we do a bunch of things. And in the sideboard we have Cleanse the Mind and Immortal Sun, which we legitimately pretty much always get with this deck, because it's simply the best. And a bunch of other things, Star of Extinctions, Omnisciences, and whatnot. Essentially, a pretty simple deck, boys. It either wins through hitting face, or Thins through hitting face. So, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. So, also, we have a new Patreon to thank. David Norman. Thank you, thank you, thank you for becoming a pa Patreon. It is, as always, greatly, greatly appreciated. You boys are what keeps the channel running, and it is amazing. So, thanks to everyone who supports me and presses the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Okay, how are we gonna play this? We could play an early opt. That would be pretty insane, but we don't have any other place, so we're not gonna do it. Okay, okay, next up I'm thinking to actually start making... Uh, what are we gonna start making next? Most likely, I am currently kinda in... I think discard decks. We haven't done discard decks in forever. Yeah, kinda expected a Solvarden or something heretical like that. Since it's slow, Explore is honestly not the worst choice. Oh, suddenly Explore becomes the best choice. That's great. Okay, that's playable. That's, that's, that, well, almost playable. Let's see, how much are we missing? Not a lot. I like it. I like it, boys. Also, this guy is currently playing extremely slow. Uh, we could slow him down a bit more, or we can get out the Immortal Sun like always. Ah, yes. A deck with an Immortal Sun in the sideboard, which is pretty much the only thing we get. It is good times, not gonna lie, boys. Okay, so onward we go. Can we get a land? I there's no point in killing the gra Oh, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect, a land. Okay, now we can do other things. Those other things involve questionable decision making. Oh, this guy is just the Griffin Air Reed deck, I think. Or he's extremely unlucky. Well, there's a Doxos, blessed by the Suncuck. Not exactly intimidating. Do I just drop a thousand year storm and be gri gri? Or do we want to actually be like careful about what's happening? Let's drop this. Oh, we can cast this. I kind of want to just storm it up a little bit. He has all of those things. I kind of don't like them. We're missing one land off of thousand year storm. That's kind of sad. Hello there. Wait, he's still dead. Ah, oh, the plights of the classic aggro deck player, boys. The the true the truest of plights. Not understanding how devotion works. Can't blame him. I still don't know how mutate works. But it is a life. Okay, enemy Kunis man, he has gotten three of these? Oh that's a lot. Oof. I don't like that one though. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Ooh, Speaker of the Heavens! Yeah, we have 100% won this one really hard, not gonna lie. Uh, Shock, Gift of Paradisio, Establish Dominance, play this, see what happens. Okay, can't play everything, but this is honestly good enough. You know why it's good enough? 
Because we can cast two Genesis Ultimatums off of this one bad lad. Whoa! Wait, does this actually kill me? At the beginning of your end step, if you have at least more than start the Evangel the attack. Okay! Okay, uh, plan B. Yeah, we need to get rid of this thing. And we're most likely doing it with a bang. Oh god! Oh no, it's fine. Yeah. It's, it's still fine. It's 100% fine. We're gonna do it like this. And yeah, we got a shock. That, 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 that is okay. Okay, and more lands. Yeah, that's exactly how I thought this is gonna uh, work out. Okay, we can do this. It's pretty cheesy. Uh, yes. No. And a yes. Okay, as you can see, it's working out pretty well. If I do this... Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. You can still cast this and it's gonna be amazing, trust me. Okay, now that's a bunch of Thousand Year Storms. Oh, boys. Works like a charm every single time. And he just surrenders. The more... The more insane your deck is... From all my deck building experience, the more chances it's gonna be amazing. That is something that I am willing to tell you right off the bat. You know, if this deck was tame, it would have never have worked. But considering this, name lo this deck looks insane, it just works. Okay, onward we go. You can't, theore you can't theoretically go wrong with a deck like this, by the way. It is really hard to do so. Unless you run into an Ashiok, which kind of ruins the fun for everyone. But yeah, two shocks, Gift of Paradisio, five lands, starting hand. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, this could, this has potential. Obviously, depends on what enemy Kun decides to play, but still has. But oof, that's the color of sadness right there, my friends. Did you not play anything because you want to light up the stage? Ooh, no, you're just disgusting. Okay. Not okay. Uh, as okay as it can possibly get, I guess. Okay, a red Ugin deck. Uh, I don't like that. Not gonna lie. I kind of dislike that a lot. But we could technically ram to Genesis Ultimatum and call it a day. And he's not getting rid of Immortal Sun. So, bonus points. Okay, gonna uh, use the Gift of Paradisio on the Bob Ross lands. And the other one is gonna go on the Bob Ross forest. Yes. Have we actually outscaled him ramp-wise? I think we have. Oh, this guy is using a Walla Kut Awakening. Pretty smart, honestly. Pretty smart. Okay. What? No! I always get queued against land shitters when it's Gift of Paradisio a clock. Game, why? Why must you intentionally do this? Let me guess. I'm gonna do this, and you're gonna do it again. Aren't you, you little shit? No, he's not a Ugin deck. He's just literally a land destruction deck. Great. God, I love land. Yeah, there, there we go. That's the conceit. Uh, I hate it. It all the best part is the game will always give you your gifts of Paradisio, so they get exactly targeted by that land destruction. Like Wizards does not give two shits about you, your feelings or anything. It is insane. Rigged. Well, we haven't made a land destruction deck ourselves in a while, but I am currently more thinking about a really good uh discard deck. Because there are some ways to make discard decks actually viable. As strange as it probably sounds for a discard deck. Not sure if I should have paid life there. He seems like an aggro deck. His name is Davide. So, you know, that's an aggro deck name. Yep, told ya. Admittedly, never punished. Nice. Okay, that worked out good. Okay, didn't pay a life there again. Just drop one more. Oh, you don't have it! Oh, that's so sad, enemy-kun. That is so sad. 
And Immortal Sun Gains are gonna be the name of the game pretty soon. Ah. Boys. I'm having a good time. Whoa there, Nelly. Seriously, is that your play? I actually don't want to get rid of it. It's too damaged. It's nothing special. So, might as well just get, uh, get out the Immortal Sun while I can. Bam. Okay, now the next things he's gonna drop, those are the things I'm probably gonna kill. But, until then... Hello there, that's... That's questionable! Well, it's dead, but still questionable. Dude. Oh, I actually misclick. Oops! Well, we completely botched that one up, but honestly, I think it's fine. Ugh... Oh, this is gonna be annoying, Dick, I can already tell. Okay, we kinda re are currently really relying on the Immortal Sun and Survive- I don't like this. Jesus Christ, what's your problem, enemy con? Like, seriously, how are you doing this? Also, this is a very playable Genesis Ultimatum, it seems like. We have the greens, we have the blues, we have the reds. In some combination, at least. So, what could possibly go wrong? If I pay- okay, if I pay life here, we have three of those. Oh, yeah, we can actually do it. Okay, let's see how this bad this ends up. Well, we're not dead. <laughs> we're not dead! Okay, that was not so bad. Also, we can cast this for essentially free. Oh, more. Okay, that was not that bad, we got advantage. And since he's not killing us, that's his own problem. Oh my god, no! Come on, game. You know the only life gain I, gain I have in this stupid deck is literally the life gain I don't want to use, right? You understand that, right, Gameu? Frantic inventory is doing frantic things. Well, at least it's playable. Okay, how the fuck do I do this? I, I can't! Okay, what's the plan here? Obviously, Wizards of the Coasts doesn't, doesn't want us exactly to win. So we need to uh, create a workaround. Also, this guy has a bunch of HP. Honestly, does he just kill us? Well, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay. That's not useful. Okay, Genesis Ultimatum. Okay, so here's the plan, essentially. He plumps this on that. I block with this. I use the, my, uh, I use the two cost. And I discard something. Cash Genesis Ultimatum. Everyone's extremely happy about the outcome, including my... Oh, he has Trample! God, why do you need to give fucking trample to that stupid thing? Okay, at least we're alive. As much as that actually accounts for anything. Let's get rid of some lands. Woo. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, that, that is absolutely great. Great, great design, wizards. Look at this. Those Wrath of God, so useful. Is there anything we can even get in the sideboard that actually fixes this? Sadly, no. Sadly, no. Our sideboard is not designed to deal with the Pyrexian Obliterator. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, feels bad, man. Do we actually do this? Wait, can we? We don't even have the mana. Oof. Yeah, we, we had kind of technically a chance if we wanted to exile everything we love, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. It's just the game's fault for knowing that we're weak to Pyrexian Obliterators and say, uh, telling us that we need to lose a little bit. It, it is just that kind of situation, boys. Can't, can't, can't say anything else. Well... You're never playing against Pyrexian Obliterators when you have Wrath of God, Settledine Wreckage, or anything of that, uh, that sort. So, 10 out of 10. I actually can put... 
I actually can put Wrath of God in the sideboard because we have Gift of Paradisio and I have not done it yet again. W what a classic move. But what an absolute classic move. Oh, let me guess. I hate you, huh? Well, let's see how much this works or doesn't work. Yeah, he is 100% that type of deck. Wait, what? Is there a chance you're a flash deck? No, that... What are you? Were you just clicking? Oh, uh, no. No, I still don't know what you exactly are. Um... Yeah! Are you a Vols deck? With crabs or something? No, probably not. Are you a mill deck? No, that's impossible because if you were a mill deck you would have ruinous crab on turn one. What are you? Huh. Okay. Well, that's card generation. Yeah, that's 100% card generation at least. That's actually a pretty smart combo. Kinda. Okay. The real question is, does this guy have counter spells? I don't think he has. It doesn't look like it. He would have countered something. I dropped the Fae of Fishes because I thought it's a Temple of Blue deck. Now we're actually paying the ultimate price. <laughs> okay, you know what? what's the ultimate price that we could pay? We technically could... Oh, no, we're not dealing with that. Yeah, get the fuck out, Lightning Strikes. I want my Fae of Wishes back. Yeah, you can play that if you want. I'm gonna play this, and it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna make our own circle of uh, vanity with blackjack and hookers. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't you dare bounce this. Do not dare bounce this. Wait. Oh, my God! That is 100% an illegal move. We should just make a Storms deck that uses the duplication. Ah, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay, I uh, can't cast that. I could cast Fae of Wishes. And then Frantic Inventory two times. Okay, that's a plan. You're not counterspelling it, so don't even pretend. Dude, that was pretty smart, though, using Mirror Maid. Uh, think he has any Devotion things? I, I do think he could have the... Nix Bloom Chalice, or what's it called? It looks like something that would fit in. The real question is, is he gonna counterspell this? Oh, Fey of Wishes. No, 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 no. I guess we're doing it like this, then. This technically is good enough, anyway. That's a lot of cards, essentially. Okay, Genesis Ultimatum yet again. Lightning Strike, not bad, essentially. Yeah, you can do that if you want. It's fine. And we're gonna get Immortal Sun, or... Actually... This thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Three targeted enchantments exiled. That's the fucking move of the gods right there, boys. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Lightning Strike, probably. Okay, so he doesn't have any counter spells. Essentially, this is all dead because exiles up to three things. By the way, good art. Also, it's giant if you haven't seen it because it's from Ikoria. And Ikoria, everything is giant because monster slayer hunter vibes. Okay, haven't seen that used in forever. Also, I think there's a reason oh, why I haven't seen that used in forever because it's questionable. 
Okay, do it like this, boys. And now do it like this. Yeah, well, sad. Well, there are times when barrier breach literally just works. What happened if I don't kill the uh, the octopuses? When whenever this creature blocks, doesn't there? Yeah. Uh, oh, as long as you control an illusion. Okay, that's fine. I think this is literally just freebie money, by the way, this this guy, currently. But it's hard to tell. We haven't drawn a land. We can always Genesis Ultimatum one time. Jesus Christ, you're just not getting sick of those circles of loyalty now, are you? Haven't seen anyone use it in a combination with Narcolepsy, though. <clears throat> That's a pretty decent combo. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this because I want to guarantee myself a land. If I guarantee myself a land, I can... Yes, that's good. Okay, if I can guarantee... Because if I can guarantee myself land, I can drop a thousand year storm. And after I can do... Ooh, that's that's even more stuff. That's good. It's good! Don't counterspell this, you can't. Okay, there we go. Do I want to drop the Fey of Fishes? I actually can. But... Eh, okay, let's not drop the Fey of Fishes. Okay, next turn the move is very simple. I can actually kill one of those. I don't want to take the extra deeps. Okay, that was good enough. Okay, so next move is Shock, Genesis Ultimatum, a land, and achieve victory. It's a pretty simple concept, I would like to say so. Because it is. Well, in the meantime, what you gonna do? Drop a land, huh? Ooh, that could have been really good for you, not gonna lie, but you kinda didn't. Oof. That's a big oof. Okay, think he actually has counter spells. Oh, he actually may have counter spells, huh? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm getting one Genesis ult ultimatum no matter what. Thousand Year Storm just works like that. Uh, perfect, perfect, and that's pretty much it. And I want it on this because I want two man. Because I want to cast uh, cast the third Genesis Ultimatum if possible. Uh, I think we actually can now. Pay life, pay life. I'm pretty sure we can literally cast it. Yes, boys. Three, no, four, five Genesis Ultimatums. How many Genesis Ultimatums have I cast? I think it's five. Essentially, it is literally enough Genesis Ultimatums. Oof, there's more. Do I want to be greedy? Kind of want to be real greedy -gree right there, boys, not gonna lie. But I am decking myself if I do this. Yeah, pretty sure I'm decking myself if I actually do that. Can I, though? Yeah, I'm decking myself if I do that. Okay, plan B. Faith wishes. And we're gonna get literally everything we ever wanted out of the sideboard. Uh, Immortal Sun. Yes. Sign me off, Chief. Let's see, what, 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 what more do we want? Omniscience. Yes. Sign. Continue signing me up, Chief. This, overflowing insights. Sign me up and one cleanse the mind. Okay, what do we want to play, though? Okay, we can play one of these. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna mill ourselves just because, right? That's five. Damn. Okay, good. Eh. 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 Okay, uh, we can play this. We can play this also. And we can definitely play this. And now we can hit his face. Is this actually the win? I'm not sure. It could be. I'm not I'm not counting, obviously. But this easily could turn out to be the win. Especially if we actually use things properly. Because we have mana to spare. Look at this. 
Yeah, we could have probably done it a little bit different in one. Nice. <laughs> oh, it is nice enemy con, what can I say? Now I need to discard 8 cards. 10 out of 10. Okay, we're discarding Vrat. Explore, Opt. Vrat, this. We actually need all of that, huh? How much more do we need to discard? 7. We don't need the ultimatum anymore. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, and the next turn is gonna be a magnificent, let me tell you that much. Ooh, Kiora. A lot of people have started to use uh, Kiora beats the Sea God. Like, a lot of people have started using that. But anyway, uh, here's Omniscience. Here's another Thousand Year Storm, just because I can. Uh, here's a Storm Rat. Again, mostly... Oh, come on! Dude, I was gonna overflowing insides the living shit out of you. You wanted to draw cards, I would have allowed you to draw cards. How dare you? How dare you be so disrespectful to, to me? How- I wanted to give you the cards that you wanted. You put a draw engine in your deck, don't tell me you did not want those cards. Disgusting. But a win's a win. What can I say? Especially after that. Oh, right. We're actually supposed to make our, uh, ourselves... Oh, God. An Ogin Avatar. I have a severe disgust towards anything that resembles an Ogin Avatar nowadays. It just has gotten so bad. It literally has gotten so bad, boys. Okay. Are you an actual colorless Ugin deck? Please. Tell us. Who hurt you? Why do you need to be a disgusting colorless Ugin deck? Tell me. Or you're just AFK. I'll, I'll take it if you're AFK, honestly. A win's a win. Okay. <clears throat> also, for the people who have missed the live stream, even though it's kind of awkward to say that, considering I am recording this before the live stream, even though I have made the conscious decision of up uploading this video after the live stream, <sighs> I fixed Fallout, and it's gonna work. Fallout New Vegas, obviously. There's a bunch of DLCs, there's a bunch of things we need to do. And there's revenge we need to take on the Powder Gangers, because your boy does not finish business unfinished. You know? We, we, we tried to murder everyone in Sunny Springs. We kind of succeeded. But, you know, we, we just started with Easy P, took his gun and then came back to finish what we started. You know? All things make sense. And the Powder Gangers, man, those guys are high level at the boss. Can't actually kill them. <clears throat> okay, this looks like the easiest win of my... Oh, sad. Well... He did not go AFK. Oh, and now he's... Oh, he's the type to struggle with uh, which land to play first, of course. Of course, that's why you have a ugly elemental. This is so ugly, it's insane. It actually is so ugly, it's insane. Okay. Is this gonna be the same deck, by the way? You boys think this could be the same deck we already played? Okay, which YouTuber made a de deck? Oh, no, no, no. That's just a random shock. Okay. So you are an aggro schmagro deck. Not cool. At least this one does something when you click on it. Okay, yeah, that's not cool. Ah, uh, not liking that one bit. Technically, Gift of Paradisio does give us a little bit of time. And we have two Storm Rats and two Shocks, so... We're not exactly in a bad, bad position. We're only in a not exact. What the fuck? Dude! Why. Why do you even have so many spells if you're a Calamity deck? 
Okay, Chandra Split Roast. Very cool. Very cool. Just gonna do this. And it's gone. Okay, currently we have all the advantages, but knowing the game, he most likely will use light up the stage here. Because let, let's be let's be honest here. Oh god, it's an annex. And a whatever the fuck that is. Uh do I have the mana capabilities to actually finish this? I think I do. Nice. Okay, so now we're top decking essentially. He gets two tokens, that's fine, because we storm rat it. Now I have one card, you have one card. Show me how much magic loves you. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, look at that, lands. Okay, it's questionable who magic hates more, me or- Oh, come on! Okay, still questionable who magic hates more, me or him. <laughs> Oh, the battle of the century, boys! It is the bad. Oh, of course, the land. Okay. Oh, uh, so one fourth of our deck is gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lands. Wait, do I? Yes, I do. Okay, because it's like there's no reason to wait. If I wait, he just gets a calamity proc. If I bait a little bit with the attack. Enemy con. I have so many options of drawing so many things that absolutely wreck you at this point of the game. But I'm sadly not getting it. So, you know. Eh. He has a spell that hits face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really need to actually make good, better sideboard for this, because we can easily fit in all the things that we want in life. But we currently have just essentially not... Okay. I guess it's castable, but I'm gonna get a land now, because it's been three draws without a land. Oh my god, game, please. Do you even know what the mixing a deck means? Game. All that draw just to get a forest. Well, this is as Magic the Gathering as you would expect it. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> Look at this. This is what, what our starting hand was. This is our later portion. And now we still ended up with finding a land. Dude, you could have kicked it. Yeah, you could have just kicked everything. Okay, are we actually just gonna magically lose against this guy like this? Okay, good. Okay, yeah, losing now is a little bit harder for obvious reasons, but still. Kind of funny. <laughs> At least the Gifts of Paradisio are doing God's fucking work right there, boys. Another calamity, huh? Okay, what can I get, though? Oh, uh, most likely the best draw is Omniscience to a degree, right? Yeah, it probably is. That was horrible. Okay, plan B. He's not killing the Fae of Vicious. He most likely has nothing that deals with Fae of Vicious. So, Overflowing Insights and Vivent. That That's essentially the name of the game. You, you struggled real hard, enemy con, but at the end of the day, you're just a dumb red deck. And I'm an even dumber three-color deck. So obviously, in Magic, the dumber person wins, and it's honestly real hard to win me on my home turf of stupidity. So, you lost before you even started. Yeah, nothing you draw works. Because nothing you draw can kill Fae of Vicious. Even you have Royal Eruption, which is really questionable. But unless you got exactly Royal Eruption, you can't kill the Fae of Vicious. There we go. And that's officially GG. Yes, Overflowing Insights, boys. What a card. Uh, nothing of this is particularly useful, except a Genesis Ultimatum. 
guess on the island. Uh, can I please get my thingy? We could be winning real hard here, but we're not. Okay, we could be winning real hard here, like really, really hard game, but you're not. There we go. Uh, so. First we do this. Finally got the thing. This does not deck us, by the way, don't worry about it. But. This now gives us a bunch of things from the sideboard. Essentially, literally everything we want. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. I'm gonna take one of each. I will take one of each. That's what we, we have the side he board here for, boys. And then we're gonna finish it off with style. Jesus Christ, we're literally not taking even one of each. We're actually taking one of everything because we have two of those. Okay, enemy con. This is 100% amazing, trust me. Okay, I'm actually just gonna finish him off. Uh, but first, we're gonna do it like this. Can I get Witch Yaw? Yeah! Enemy Kun, you started not with nothing this game. And I'm gonna make damn well sure you end it with nothing, you disgusting red deck player degenerate. Just try to rope me. Decline, decline, decline. Yeah. By the way, when you have this many stars of extinction, uh, the animation stops at one point because, you know, in the developing company can't handle it. <laughs> That's why they limited the amount of tokens you can get because it's just too hard for the, their servers. Can't blame them though. This game is played by at least five different people, so there you have it. I'm gonna press the no, I'm gonna press the decline, I'm gonna press a lot of declines. Oh, they should make this system a bit faster for people like me. Okay, and now obviously we're doing also this. Okay, I need to actually click the right one. If I don't, it's gonna be sad. It's gonna be really sad if I don't. Decline, 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 decline. Ah, oh. and we still need to cast a little bit more of this. Decline, 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 decline. Too bad I can't get rid of the, his last card in the hand. Too bad I can't. Too, too bad I can't. But this does feel good against, uh, what's his face deck? Uh, drop the immortal sun, just to prove a point. And now, the Coupe de Gracie, the overflowing insights. Yes, I am extremely sure that I want to do that. Yes, and yes, as, please game, yes, please, ask me more, yes, you know, I, I answered yes the first 20 times, so, you know, it just makes sense that you're gonna ask me more. Also, is the sound bugging out for overflowing insights? It could be. Well, enemy con, maybe now at least you're gonna draw the thing you wanted to win the game. A little bit too late, though. But there's a chance. Yeah. You're done. Oh, if that's not a good feeling win, nothing is a good feeling win. <clears throat> that's exactly the type of win we want, boys. When we help someone out finding what they, uh, what they wanted to find in their deck. Because I'm sure he found what he wanted. You know? In the end of the day, we did a good thing. We did a really good thing. Ooh, mastery. Oh, that's the last mastery. Nice. I think it... Yes, it is the last mastery. Okay, we got all of our free MTX cards. That's actually really cool. Let's check the store. Maybe there's something we're missing. 
All of this looks like garbage. Channel it force. Actually, this is a card I have been looking at. Not sure if it's actually usable, but hey, I have looked at it at least. But yeah, boys. Anyway, this is the deck. It is pretty uptight and disgusting. So yeah. Anyway. So this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.